A total of six new characters to unlock in version four of Star Wars Force Combat then, two of them being brand new to the game. Some are relatively easy to unlock and some are pretty difficult and are gonna need certain types of tactics. So let's get straight into it. Hi everybody, my name's Yao Ji. I hope your day's been a good one so far. So what I will do in this video, because it's gonna be quite a lengthy video, I'm gonna go really in depth into each character and how to use certain tactics to unlock them. So I'm gonna put timestamps in the video. So if you're struggling with one particular character, you're gonna be able to jump straight to that character and work out a decent tactic on how to unlock them. So all that being said, and as a bit of a disclaimer, because I don't want any misconceptions about this guide video, this is going to be an easy man or woman's guide to unlocking these six characters using the easiest methods possible. So it's fair to say we've been absolutely blessed with this one, a total of six characters now to unlock. Kyle Katarn, Starkiller, Moff Gideon, The Mandalorian, and the two new ones, the one and only Mace Windu, believe it or not, and Asajj Ventures. And believe me, when you unlock them, they are absolutely epic with some great little moves. So the original Force Combat had two characters that were unlockable, the likes of Leia Organa and Mara Jade. Those two characters are now available from the start and don't need to be unlocked. But you're gonna be wanting to use Mara Jade to unlock the first character, Starkiller. The area you wanna use for unlocking the characters is the tower mode at the top of the title screen. Now each character can be unlocked using the smallest five tiered tower mode. There's no point going and bashing your way through 16 characters to unlock one when you can use the smallest one. But each character you unlock will have a little bit of a different difficulty setting. For example, the star killer uses normal difficulty, Kyle Katarn uses hard, and then you will go back to normal for the Mandalorian and so on. But we will go through that as we go through each character. Now I do appreciate that there's gonna be some people watching this video that are absolute ninjas at beat em up games. But for the most part, me personally, I'm okay, but not great. So for that reason, as I said at the start of the video, you're going to want to employ some form of tactics to work your way through all of these characters. Now the easiest way I've found to do this for all the characters is to either use a combination of a combo move followed by a special or for some characters even just a combo move. So unlike all the other characters you're going to unlock, luckily with Mara Jade you can go into the start menu and actually check her moves. But the combo followed by a special we're going to be using for her is low punch, low punch, high punch, low punch followed by her special, which is down, back, low punch, which executes the final spinning move. Now, for the most part, if you keep rinsing and repeating this combination and special move, for all four characters, you shouldn't have any problem grinding your way through them. Now, what I found for Palpatine is each character in turn will have a sort of combination of moves that you can use against him. Version one, two, and three, you could pretty much get Palps up against the wall and just keep uppercutting him into the air, and you could spam that move and you could beat him with any character. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore, as each character needs to employ a little bit of a different tactic against him. That being said, for Mara Jade, you can actually employ the uppercut tactic. So what you're gonna to wanna to do from the start of round one is use your low kick, or rather low punch, low punch, high punch, low punch, and then come in with the special. Get Palpatine up against the wall and keep using your combination move until he falls down. At that point, you can then do an uppercut, which is gonna launch him into the air, and you're gonna get either two or three uppercuts before you redo your combination and then the uppercut. Moving into round two, because it's set on normal, you always get an easy couple of takedowns from the very start. On normal mode, Palps will always jump towards you at the start of the fight. So just get ready with an uppercut and you will be able to launch him three times from the start, which gives you a pretty healthy start to get towards beating him. And for the most part, as long as you keep spamming all these moves, you will beat Palpatine with Mara Jade on normal mode and you will unlock the Star Killer. <clears throat> Moving on to the Star Killer then, and it's worth noting before we start on to this one, if you're not happy with the lineup on the Towers mode, you can just back out and then come back in and it will redo the lineup. So for example, if you've got 
Ahsoka or Maul, which can be quite difficult to get past due to them flurrying around with their sabers. And as I say, just back out, come back in, and you'll get a different lineup of characters to battle against. So for the most part with the Star Killer, I found that a combination move was better than using special moves also. He does have two special moves of note. I believe there's a backwards forwards low kick which does an electric pulse and he does a down back high kick which does a spinning attack but as i say for the most part i just use his combination attacks which is a low kick low kick high kick low kick high kick low kick high kick low kick eight combination in total and i just keep spamming that for the first four characters until i get to the palpatine even though it's set on hard mode, for the most part with Palpatine and the Star Killer, I found that just spamming his combination move was enough. Didn't get to a point where I could uppercut him in the corner, but simply just keep spamming his combination move and eventually you will beat him. And pretty cool this unlock, not only do you unlock Kyle Katon, but I can only assume because it's on hard mode, you also unlock an adventure skin for the Star Killer, which is pretty cool. On to Kyle Katarn then, a really well solid put together character, personally one of my favourites. And the good news for this one is we can drop the difficulty back down to normal for him. In terms of beating your way through the first four characters, he does have a combination move which I believe is low kick, low kick, high kick, uh, rather low punch, low punch, high punch, low punch, which gives you a four move combo, which can then be followed up with a down, forward, low punch. Uh, which sees him fly into the air, launching the opponent and hopefully doing two full swell uppercuts onto the opponent and taking out a decent amount of damage. This can be combined with a few other moves, which is not too easy, which can lead to a 10 move combination. For the most part, this is what you want to use to work your way through the first four characters. On to Emperor Palpatine then, and he really is a different kettle of fish on most characters. But again, we got lucky, we've got him on normal mode, so we can employ the uppercut beast him in the corner tactic. So essentially, use your combo move. I do, for the most part, avoid using his special on this, because it doesn't always hit home, and if it doesn't, it can leave you in a bit of a predicament in terms of him attacking you back. So get him in the corner mash the down or rather the low kick low kick high kick low kick move until you get an opportunity to get him in the air with a few uppercuts and then rinse and repeat until eventually you grind his health down and you will finally beat him now whether or not this is because we did it on the normal mode you do only unlock the mandalorian i haven't been through it yet on hard mode to see if it unlocks another skin but there we go, we've got our next character, the one and only Mandalorian. Back to the towers mode with the Mandalorian then, and we're going to have to up the difficulty to hard again for this one. So make sure you've got characters that you're happy you can beat. And I must say, I've found the Mandalorian a little bit different to all the other characters. I think it's because he's got a weapon that's got a longer reach. And because of that, he seems to have a bit of a slower attack. So I will say for the Mandalorian and all the other characters, these moves that I'm finding are just from trial and error. If you found any other moves or combos that I'm not mentioning in this video, please let me know in the comments section. As with these six unlockable characters, there are no instructions on their moves as there are with all the normal characters. And there's been no videos made on their moves either. So even though the Mandalorian does come with a number of cool moves, there are only a couple that we're going to be using to grind our way through the first four characters. He does have a combination which I've worked out supposedly is, and again, normal to the other characters, a low kick or rather a low punch, low punch, high punch, low punch, followed by a down forward low punch which throws missiles at the opponent. And if you keep spamming this combination, you should be able to grind yourself through the first four characters with not too much difficulty. Surprisingly, with the Emperor Palpatine face-off and the Mandalorian, I found it quite easy. And you will be able to just use the same moves that you've been using with the other four opponents. Simply use the combo move and then the missiles. The reason this works so well is because we're on hard mode. And Palpatine is just so offensive that as soon as he gets a chance, he'll do his spinning move at you. Which, if you've built up enough power by doing the combo, as you can see in the video, the missiles fire and block his spinning move, allowing you to then continue with your combo attack. Keep grinding this out, and eventually you'll get the KO and unlock the next character. 
which this time around is the one and only Moff Gideon from the Mandalorian series and Star Wars multiverse carrying the one and only dark saber pretty dang cool so for Moff Gideon on the tower section then unfortunately nothing much to change we're gonna have to stick this one on the hard and I have to be honest, I really, really struggled with this one. Make sure you got the characters that you're happy to fight against. I spent half an hour getting beaten by Ahsoka and also Princess Leia, I think, before I completely reset it and just started again. So Moff Gideon himself, really cool character and kind of the polar opposite to the Mandalorian in terms of speed where the Mandalorian was slow. Moff Gideon is lightning fast with that Darksaber. And I have to be honest, after all my struggling, I found two different ways to beast my way through the first four characters with Moff. The first one is a combo move where it's four low punches followed by a high punch, low punch, high punch, which gives you about a seven combo. And then you can follow that up with a special move of down forward high punch which we'll see Moff Gideon launching himself in a spinning attack move for two times and doing a pretty decent amount of damage in total to be fair but the second way I found um, was probably the easier way because let's be honest we just want to grind through these characters and get them all or not and then we can enjoy working out all their special moves and having some decent fights with them later so the second way I found was simply just to keep mashing the low punch button and just go mad with it all the way through all four characters either of these two methods i found work pretty well with moff gideon and he shouldn't have too much problem even though it's set on hard in the end getting through to palpatine on to palpatine and moff gideon then and i've got to be honest for me this really was not a good combination it took me nearly an hour to beat emperor palpatine really difficult and also here i think it's worth noting a few more points about palpatine at this difficulty of hard or very hard if you don't beat him in the first round then my advice is just give it up let the second round just run out let him beat you reset it and then come in again where you're on a, an even level with no wins because you're just going to be wasting your time or skin off your fingers for the simple reason that at this difficulty it really is such a fine line as to whether you're going to win or not against him so how to beat him then and believe me i tried a number of tactics getting him in the corner and using the upper cup tactic which didn't work some characters are able to knock him down and use the upper cut thereafter and some aren't moff gideon is one of the latter i also tried the combo move with the finishing move which again didn't work because he just blocks through it and ends up lightning bolt you and just wipes the floor with you so the third tactic that I used and the one that succeeded for me and you're going to read really good timing for this is to simply mash the heck out of the low punch button and it sounds a lot more simpler than it is because at some point Palpatine is going to block this attack and when he does he will come back at you with three sideways lightning and an upper lightning. As soon as you see him blocking your attack get on your block. Block all three sideways lightning and the upper lightning and then get straight back on your low punch button rinse and repeat this his energy will slowly go down and eventually you'll unlock the one and only mace a window on to the final character to unlock then a sarge ventress and with it comes a little bit more difficulty and we're gonna have to up it to very hard and it is pretty dang difficult now mace window i have to admit that i've seen a ton of mace window mods over the years for a number of different star wars games and this one is epic it looks just like samuel l jackson seriously impressed and the fighting style also looks like mace window in the movies in game i've got to say the character is a lot of fun to play with with a number of different special moves including a force pull a force crush a lightsaber attack where he steams forward and also a lightsaber spinning attack along with a number of different combinations it really is well put together in terms of grinding your way through the first four characters there's a couple of options that you can use for combinations the first being a low punch low punch high low high five move combination which ends with windu launching himself into the air and this can be followed up 
with a special move which is back down forward high punch but the problem is with the special it's particularly difficult to pull off so for that reason if you're just trying to grind through the characters like we are i'd advise just using the standard combo five move over and over honestly when it came to emperor palpatine i just went full on out at him until i did kind of find a combination that worked for me and it was using the five move combination where he launches into the air at the end and it seemed to be more useful once you got him up against a wall because it pushes you away from him at the end of using the combination which then palpatine because it's on such a high difficulty is so offensive comes straight at you and if you time it just right you can get him as you start that five move combination again and push him back up against the wall one thing to bear in mind is every now and again he will block one of the combinations so just be prepared that he's going to throw lightning back at you at that point and get on your block move and at the end of the upward lightning get back on your five move combo rinse and repeat timing is of the essence and key and fingers crossed in the end you should do it and unlock the final character as Sarge Ventress. Now one thing I do want to say before I close this video out is that this game is absolutely fantastic and has a massive scope for some crazy great battles using multiple combinations and a ton of special moves for each and every character. What I have done in this video is hopefully made a easier way to grind out these achievements to unlock the six characters before you start learning all those funky moves so if this video has been helpful for you i really would appreciate it if you hit that like button and possibly think about subscribing or maybe hit me in the comments but either way have a great day take it easy and bye for now